The fabled Portra 400, the often praised, sometimes mocked film stock because of how much it is praised, is your favorite film photographer's favorite film stock. But why? Why? Why the frick? Why is it so popular? Is it the tones, the colors, the latitude? Is it because it's expensive? Is it because you feel cool when you shoot Portra 400? Is it because your favorite photographer told you to shoot it? Willem, my dog, why the frick? Does everyone shoot Portra 400? Straight into it. Um, <laughs> Straight into it. Welcome to the pod. Welcome to the pod, y'all. Hi, Willa. Show, Willa. It's really Hi. a show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> we, we, we have a guest, and we're jumping right into it because enough's enough. I need answers, and we, we brought William here to bring answers. Okay. Yeah, wow. Why, dude? I mean, let me start by saying Ooh. that... <laughs> I, I, the anticipation... You can do... <laughs> I'll start by saying you can do whatever, you know, do whatever you want. Like, whatever you enjoy, you should do. It doesn't matter what any kid on the internet says. Well, do what you want. But well. I'm, I'm, I'm deep in the game, you know? I have, I have half, a, half of this room that I'm sitting in is, like, dedicated to film and printing film. So, yeah, I'm in deep. But I, I was trying to think of reasons, and it, it's... It's hard to say, but I think there's two two main things, right? Okay. First of all, it's just a clean palette. Like, it's... There's a lot... Oh, my word. What the frick does Let that mean? Let him talk. Mean? There's Let a, him talk. There's a right, lot right, right, that right. you can do with it. There's a lot of ways that you can go with it in post. Um, and especially for me, darkroom printing, it's very flexible there, too. Okay. I think, like, the second thing is just consistency like i think when i first started mm. shooting film like i love trying every single film stock like i tried literally uh -huh. everything under the sun that was out there and that was really fun and that element of surprise was really fun and sometimes something would come back with crazy colors and like you know that's just enjoyable but then at some mm. point like i think you just want results that are like predictable and you know what you're gonna get mm -hmm. and yeah. For me, that happened to be Portra. Um, yeah. So, Willem, at what point, like, how long did you experiment with stocks? And then when were you like, okay, Portra is my jam? And second question, do you feel like uh, you clung to Portra just because it's just like most kind of true to reality? So I would say the first year tried everything under the sun. The second, third year switch between Portra, Fuji, sort of the pro film stocks. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, right. like you just decide what you like and you stick with it. And it's kind of yeah. like, I don't, I don't shoot much digital. So for me, like I really just want something clean, consistent, and like I know what I'm going to get so that I yeah. can just focus on what the picture is of. And right. And at, at at the point of you deciding that you were shooting, that you wanted to shoot Portra and you really liked it, it, it hadn't become like a meme or anything yet, had it? Like it hadn't become what it is now? I guess so. I mean, the meme to me is like, it's weird because I don't know like from what kind of people that meme is coming from. Because to me, like I, <laughs> right. I learned photography by going to school, by assisting a lot of photographers and like, those photographers that I would assist on like fashion sets, e-commerce sets, whenever it was film, it was always Portra. Portra. So to me, like, I, right. I don't know when the meme came in, but mm -hmm. it's been like that for quite some time. And that's just what I learned to shoot with. And that's what I saw photographers shooting as I was learning. And yeah, I just got comfortable with it. I think every, every like, subculture if film is its own subculture everything eventually has like it gets memefied in that genre yeah. so oh, like yeah. i think it was just a thing that the film world could then make into a meme out of the sake of there's me memes being made from everything else but. oh absolutely i mean like all the ektar memes like portra is not alone you yeah. know in in like getting kind of bullied on the internet <laughs> um yeah i don't like cox internet um, and here I am <laughs> suffering because <Yeah>. they suck. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, yeah. N now I have my AirPods in. Okay. W w where are we at? Okay, Willem, bringing it back to color palette. 
Now, you said it mm-hmm. has a really good color palette or something in that vein. Is that to say that other film stocks don't have a good color palette? Not at all. But and, what it, I w- and, and, and what is a color palette? What yeah. is a color palette? <laughs> I would say that the color palette is just like less baked in. Like if you want, if you shoot, for example, Ektar, like that look is very hard to adjust in post or even in the dark room, it's very hard to adjust. I think with Portra, like even with a scan, you can really go all kinds of ways with it. You can add contrast, add saturation. It's harder to take that stuff out than it is to add it in. Mm-hmm. Um, well, yeah, makes sense. So, yeah, I just think it's, yeah, it's very flexible. It's like a good start up. Yeah, it's like a good medium ground to start and experiment yeah, with. Yeah, to be honest, like, like I, I don't know why. Like, it's just what I've learned to love. It's what I know <laughs> well. It's I just know what it's going to look like, and I like that about it. And to be honest, that's the biggest reason, I think. I actually have I have a roll that I just shot. I waited to take it out of the back of my camera. For right just now. For the, yeah. Oh, my right God. Now. Portra 400, <laughs> baby. It's honestly my go-to as well, so... <laughs> Look at me, guys. I'm flexing with my I, I shoot <laughs> film. <laughs> flexing on you all. Portrait. What'd you shoot, Caleb? Well, oh my word! <laughs> what? You don't lick your uh, roll? Not like that. <laughs> Wait, I missed it. Oh, you missed yeah, it. Well, yeah, um, I, it, yeah. I, I missed honestly, it too. Honestly, be grateful. You have to was it watch a- it on playback. <laughs> All I saw was was Taylor's reaction, which was nugget. Yeah, me too. <laughs> hey, I can do it again. Yeah, let's let's see it again. Instant oh, replay boy. for the folks. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll just do the instant replay on the edit. <laughs> All right. Oh my word! Can we talk about proper lick, uh, film licking uh, customs technique? or maybe uh, yeah, technique? Is there like a are there do's and don'ts? I actually, I've I've seen everything know. under the sun. <laughs> <laughs> you've seen it all <laughs> anything you can imagine <laughs> why does that make me feel so weird inside i know i know <laughs> do you have to lick it or could you just get it wet you can yeah. just use water yeah you technically could that's just a lot more inconvenient i usually right, just like to like dip it into the ocean yeah yeah also wh- why don't they just like put a little tape on it no kidding. That's the whole thing. Been wondering with, for years. Right. That's the whole thing uh, with Kodak is like, is why film, do we have to lick the rolls? This is what think about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because you will lick the rolls. <laughs> because other stocks, Niles, you don't have to. So it's like, we know it can be done, you know? Really? That's interesting. Um, should we talk about, Ka- uh, not Caleb's book, because Caleb doesn't have a book. Should we talk about Willem's book? Yes. Uh, that just dropped. Yes. And how yeah. we're gonna give one away woo, woo, if you woo, comment woo. below. Oh. oh, that's true. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I Mary's asked Willem right special. before the call, and he and he said, <laughs> "I guess." Okay, no. amazing. <laughs> I so guess. what? So Willem, w- what should they comment? Well, wait, 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 Willem. Before you start, yeah, is every photo in your book on Portrait Four Hundred? That's a good question. There might be a one digi in there. Okay. <laughs> but if it's film, it's probably uh, Portra in there. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Maybe one Fuji 400H, but yeah, for the most part, Portra. So cool. I can't wait yeah. to see it. Tell us about it. Ooh, well, this was kind of like a project that came about during COVID after looking back on, you know, everyone was kind of like retrospectively looking back at, I think all the things they've done in the past couple of years during COVID. And for me, that's what, or this book came from that. Hmm. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a collection of like four years of landscape images. I call them landscapes for lack of better words. It's photos of sort of very ordinary everyday environments and they're very atmospheric is the best way i found to describe it which just means like you know the weather and the light and the atmosphere plays a big role in in the photos mm-hmm. classic yeah. willem was it hard to select all the images for your book um no it came pretty like naturally 
I think after I sort That's of awesome. organized everything, it it was pretty clear. Wow. What you don't hear that didn't. often. I feel like everyone I talk to who has a book, they're like the the culling images is like such yeah. a painstaking process so that's kind of cool right. to hear that you were just were, like were you limited it. yeah were you limited on the how many pages you could print or was that just cost more to make the book if you just do more pages yeah we we did 96 pages and that was just like a good middle ground between hmm. enough photos and you know not making it a hundred dollar yeah. book right i think like the <laughs> Putting the pictures together did take uh, like a good couple months, I would say like seven or eight months, but it wasn't like, it just felt good the whole way. You know, it wasn't mm. a struggle, cool. I would say. So you said that a lot was on Portra, which we're assuming is Portra 400. What about 160 and 800? Like, are there big differences between the film speed in terms of that color palette and like why would you you know and like do you shoot 160 or 800 i shoot them yeah i shoot all three of them mainly 400 i think there is like some i mean some people would call them huge differences in in the grand scheme of things they're pretty mild differences between like 160 and 800 mm -hmm. like there's some difference in in color and just the way it handles light i think but i just use them depending on what the the light outside is like if i need the speed or not okay so it comes down mainly to need like if yeah. you need the extra iso or need a little less iso but it, but is there a difference in color or is it the exact there's same? slight differences but i i consider them close enough that i would just like interchange them but i think a lot of people would disagree with me we used the term uh, a couple weeks ago por portra famine yeah. Is there a portrait famine going on right now? And what are your thoughts on the portrait famine? <sighs> well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there, there was the definitely a. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, your echo is so bad. It's so, so funny, bad. too, because I can hear him laughing, but he just cuts out, too. Mm -hmm. It's like. <laughs> um, the portrait famine. Well, two things. I was reminiscing with a friend. The other day of back when a pro pack of 400 was 36.99 at bnh and we were like ah that was a beautiful Oof. time mm. but then also at the same time like i'm regardless of you know what it costs it means i maybe just shoot a bit less and i'm just still like very grateful that it's still here and that right it's still around like i'm sure a lot of people watch that kodak factory tour that oh, i can't remember the channel name you know what I'm talking about? The three-part Kodak Factory tour. Is yeah. it smarter mm -hmm. every day? Something like that? Well, anyway, there was a massive Kodak Factory tour recently. And I've thought about this for a while, but seeing that just reinforced the idea that, like, it's wild to me that this is still around even. Mm -hmm. Like, if you see all those machines, like, the fact that there's still the people who are putting in the work to make mm -hmm. it happen, like, if it goes up a couple bucks, like... It just means I might take a frame less, but I'm gonna keep shooting it, and yeah, I'm just grateful. See, it's Willem, here. you're a good you you're a you're a good <laughs> dude. You got your head on your shoulders, and I feel like your good, positive good outlook is what this the internet film meme world needs. So, uh, props to you. Well, on that, and that insight. the interesting thing too about Kodak, <laughs> he's like, uh huh, <laughs> is uh, like, like no, film is like I don't know the actual percentage, but like it's a very small percentage of what they do. Like yeah, as a brand, ten percent yeah. of it. I don't even know. Like, I don't know the numbers, but it is very good to hear you say that. Well, I'm like, at least there are people that are still doing it because Kodak certainly doesn't need to. It's not like this is their like money machine. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like they have other things making mm -hmm. them money. They'd be fine right. without Printers making the, and... the stocks, right? You know. So it's. That is a great reminder to be grateful that it even just still exists. Good perspective, exactly. Willem. Like, Good perspective. And if you see yeah. all those machines from like decades ago that they're still using to produce, like the fact that anyone is still there maintaining it and this knowledge is being passed down, like mm -hmm. I think that's awesome. So if they want to charge two extra bucks, if they want to increase the rent, let's say. Yeah. I'll, I'll pay. But dude, it's like more than two bucks. I, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like 10 bucks. It's like 10 bucks. 
You're right. Yeah, what's a pro pack now? It has just gradually happened over the years that yeah. it feels like yeah, increments, you know, but Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what a pro pack said. I don't really want to look, but I know I haven't bought a pro pack in a minute. What's a pro pack for all the, for all the people that listening, yeah, not me, do that don't pro know? Pack? What is pro pack? <laughs> Asking for a friend. A uh, a pack of five. Like when you get the box. Oh, pack, pack of, five. of five. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know? Yeah, the Whoa. box. Okay. The box. Why is it is that box? when you like know you're cool? Yeah, when you have when you, like, boxes buy, when, of it. Yeah. When you when you buy pro packs, that's yeah. so sick. <laughs> yeah. I'll never buy pro packs. <laughs> Why? Well, um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why? Taylor. Taylor. Oh. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, Taylor? why not? I, I just like saying five rolls, you're just going to buy five separately? <laughs> Sorry, I, I literally have to unmute every time I want to talk. Uh, no, dude, I just like, who? I don't buy five rolls at a time. Like, maybe I buy like a couple rolls. Oh, just maybe I stash cool. them in the fridge. No, dude, I don't have that money. It's so expensive. Yeah. Got to pay for, um, like, got to save for college for my kids. So what are your honest thoughts on the gold 200 or is that that's on 120 now? Obviously, that's the new one, but that's been around in 35, 35 yeah. for a minute, right? Yeah. Me so where does that where does that compare to your Portrait 400 like ranking Ooh, the hierarchy? I like that question. Good question. Yeah, I was I was actually pretty freaking stoked on that. Wow. Let's not say that. Ooh, but yeah, I was, I was very excited when that came out because. It, yeah. It's interesting. It came out looking so good. Like I really have to do more experimentation with it, but I think it it's a bit more saturated and it kind of looked more like what I try to make my portrait look like in the dark room. Whoa. Huh. Right. So maybe less. Yeah, like so just are, you pushing it? are you pushing the 200 typically then if you get it developed or just as is? Just as is. Yeah. Okay. Um, do people do that? Do people send their, I mean, do you do that? Like, do you send your stuff into a lab and tailor as well? Like, I just ask for mine even or whatever. I don't push just or pull. Speed. Yeah, I just box, box speed. speed, yeah. I always do box speed. I'm too scared. I feel scared intimidated to, to ask for, same, same. Freaks yeah. I've same. done it. It works, but yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. I've never needed I don't that want my extra highlights stop. Or, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> uh, the gold 200 uh, though i was also i saw people like talking trash about it online like oh so what they like recut it like that's another thing it's like it's crazy that they did that like there mm -hmm. actually was new research and development for that like the fact that mm. kodak's doing that in 2022 like that's freaking sick Especially Huge. when like Fuji's like taking away film stocks. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw Velvia right. like doubled in price yesterday. Velvia fifty. Oh, I did not. Yeah. See that. What? Yeah. Wait. Let's check the moment site. Take... It went from like, I think it's like fifty dollars a roll now. No. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Is go on Velvia Moments even website. a good film stock? Yeah. A roll of fit. A roll of thirty five. One roll. Oh, they dropped it back down. What the heck? It's forty three ninety nine. Anyway, still went up. One roll. Yeah. Whoa, it's a lot. And Velvia to get developed the right way, I, I think you ha they have to process it different. Yeah, it's it's E six. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, the Gold two hundred, like they actually did research and development on that. Like I got different versions, and the first version they gave me, they were like, you can only oh, cool. develop it in this type of developing machine because other ways mm -hmm. it won't develop correctly yet then i got another version that did properly develop in like uh dip and dunk Whoa. which is like bigger baths of chemicals and yeah like just to, like how are they still doing that that's awesome all right that... sick uh what do you wanna <laughs> anything sick. else you want to say about your book because we let's let's go ahead and ask people to comment on this video and uh we'll pick one on the next weekend's next week's episode honestly i don't i don't have too much to say about it i'm very happy it's it, it was a crazy process like it was to print it literally took somewhere between a year and a half and two years like from designing it to actually printing wow. it manufacturing shipping overseas Nuts. yeah so it's been a long process and i'm so glad it's and like just <laughs> out and people are gonna get the book soon and yeah. 
And uh, no affiliation with Sunny 16, but it's what's the book title called? <laughs> the book title is On the Sunny Side of the Street. Yeah. Very so cool. Good. The book isn't isn't sunny photos, or it's not all sunny photos, but the title is just sort of... I like that name. <laughs> like a yeah. uh, way of looking at ordinary things is kind of how I interpreted it. Mm. That's cool. Love that. That's really yeah, and cool. if you all want to buy it, we'll obviously link it below chances are you've probably seen Willem's launch video. It just came out yesterday. How did the launch go? Were you nervous before? Like, what's that like launching a product as a creator? Oh How my gosh, feel? yeah. It was, I mean... Because this is not your first product, really. Launch, we got Let's go. weekend right yeah, here. Yeah, baby. Yeah, we love Willem's to see that. Willem's just a hustler. <laughs> building the empire. We love to see well, that. Well, so the book, <laughs> it was more nerve-wracking because I prepaid all of the inventory. So I've been sitting on, I've had money tied up in these books for since we started printing. And that was really scary because mm. it really was like, okay, now like I hope people are going to buy this because like mm -hmm. I have so much wrapped up in this. And thankfully, you know, it did, it did really well. I actually thought I was going to have like a year's supply of books because with my last one, people got pretty upset that it was gone quick so i was kind of like okay like i think i got a number here you can only guess you know and this is something we have to figure out with the bags right, too yeah. like you it's can only part. guess that number once and i thought i was going to have enough for a year and i mean it's since an hour ago it's been 24 hours and i only have a quarter of the books left so holy yeah, it, Whoa. it went wow. pretty crazy so rad i'm dude. very grateful for that's it sick amazing yeah right that's on so Cheers. cool man that's Dang. That's oh that's exciting. What is what do you have in your cup, Willem? Oh yeah. A lovely oh, green some, uh, beverage. Celery juice. Nice. Oh, okay. oh, we do the what's in your earth. cup segment every week. I know. What's what in your cup, earth. Caleb? Uh I literally already had my coffee this morning, so I just have nice. water. Shout out it's Joshua nice is cup, gone though. today. Joshua's actually in it's LA. A nice cup. Thank you. Wait, yeah. Little, uh, I, I, it's like kind of like a jar. I thought I was finally gonna get to meet Joshua. I know he's he's doing some stuff. I think with aperture lighting this week down in LA. Um, so he had to. You were our fill in, but also our first guest. So it's pretty cool to have our first guest on the show. What a yeah, welcome, dude! Thank you what, for what, being what a here. big big shoes to fill for whoever's next. Niles, what you got in your cup? In my cup, I had yep. a glorious Ethiopian, and then I finished it because I'm a boss who oh drinks boy. coffee. Okay, Arr! all right. And then I also <laughs> chugged. An entire uh, big cup of water. I like big cups. I don't know if you guys are small cup people, but small cups drive me crazy for water. So big cups. I have I'm a done. big A vitamin water. Big cup. Nice. Medium cups. Oh, you got a vitamin water? Like you? T did you like mix it up those yourself or like pour it from the bottle? No, no, no. <clears throat> I poured it from the bottle. It's like one of the zero <laughs> sugar acai <laughs> flavored ones, and uh, I okay. because I needed yeah. ice. Ooh. I'm still trying to find the freaking syrup Pepsi, the pancake syrup Pepsi, the new like limited edition. Disgusting. Oh, I'm waiting. Willem knows my first. Willem likes my first taste videos. Okay? Yes, I love them. <laughs> <They're>... <laughs> <laughs> no, I genuinely wait for them. Like, yeah, I genuinely like them too. I got a text thread with like two other friends that are also super into finding weird stuff, and like we, they sent me like a nit Pepsi did a nitro. Pepsi that came out. Yeah. It's about to come out. I like how yeah. it's just like genuinely like it's the such a simple time. format, <laughs> but you also just seem to love it so much that I do. I'm yeah. enjoying whatever you're doing. The through stoke is real. Video. Like it. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do to win one of Willem's book on the next episode is comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe Woo. and just say what is your favorite film stock, whether that's shooting or if you happen to know photos you like taking on that film stock, just comment and also say congrats, Willem, on the book launch. Love it. <laughs> Only answers that say Portrait 400 are eligible to win. <laughs> 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 See, but dude, people hear that. People I'm just hear kidding. that and like everyone shoots Portrait 400, dude. I'm just kidding. 400, I'm, just kidding. I'm honestly, also, I'm yeah, a conspiracy theorist with this. <laughs> totally joking. Uh, <laughs> also, we are giving away, we're giving away Niles' course, his filmmaking course, at the end of this video. I'm going to pick a winner on my computer here and announce that, so, from Perfect. last week's episode, so...
yeah, continue on. <laughs> sick, sick, sick. Yay, Niles. Thank Yay, you. Willem. Yeah. So many cool Thank things. Thank you, dude. My reel popped off, so that felt good. It's always good to have a reel go pop off in 2022, yeah. isn't it? Whoa, really? <laughs> I got to peep. I've yeah. never done a reel. <laughs> For reels. I know, dude. I mean, don't even get me started on reels. Yeah, Ooh, that is not what this even. episode is about, Niles. <laughs> <laughs> hold, keep, hold it in hold it in but but maybe will whoa 118 <laughs> dude doing viral. numbies oh. <laughs> big numbies dude dude doing willem building numbies. his empire and 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 then will the empire builder giving me a numby shout out yeah pretty good just a quick numbie What's, yeah Willem, what is like the landscape of film and film photographers right now? What's the vibe? I'm a dad now. I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> We're not cool. In a lot of ways. Like, can you like help me understand what's cool? Taylor's in, still cool. In the uh... film world? Yeah, ta- we know Taylor's cool, but she's We know Taylor's she's... still cool. I'm getting uncool by the day. Uh, <laughs> right. Caleb, Caleb, so Caleb's, oh, Caleb's in this like weird in between where like some I've days you might cool. be cool, but, but by not being cool, maybe you are cool some days. Yes, I don't know how to decide. Too. Me, some days. That's me, me, I like try to be cool and it's having but it a reverse doesn't work. effect. It doesn't it's work. It's not working. Mm-hmm. Don't do what I'm doing. Dude, what do you mean? I what get mean? big cool what do you mean, what energy mean? from you, dude. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, that's just you being nice. You, you've been so positive this whole episode. Oh, we like that Kodak raises prices. It's okay. Look how hard they're working. <laughs> I didn't say we like it. Oh, <laughs> we love we love that Niles is a dad and he's not cool anymore, but we'll tell him he's cool to, you know, gas him up a little bit. Dude, I'm on to you, bro. I'm on to you. Dude, I have a couple more questions for I do, too. For I have you... questions. Okay. Well, I wanted to know what you boys think about Portra and what you guys think about everything that's happening. Because you two you shoot Portra pretty regularly when you shoot film, right? I'll keep it quick yeah. for me. I'm bummed the prices are going up because I yes. did used to buy. I didn't know they were called Pro Packs, but I would buy the packs. I have a couple <laughs> of 120 left. And yeah, it was my favorite film stock. First time I ever shot it on 35, actually. I was like blown away. I'll actually put a couple photos in this episode of my very first roll. Oh, I went flex. surfing on the Washington coast right when I got my Olympus Muju. And I was like dude, these photos look awesome. And I paid for better scanning, which i that's a whole nother episode. Mm-hmm. Right. But like that made a huge difference too. Um, so yeah, I'm right. bummed it's going up, but it is 100% my favorite film stock as well. Just because I'm not that deep into it, but I know it works every time and it looks like the way I want it mm-hmm. to look. There I you guess. go. Yeah. Niles? So for me, this is where this is where it comes into me being like, well, everyone shoots it, and like I'm, you're like supposed to shoot it. So it's like I don't like it anymore, but I still shoot it because it's like what I have. Okay. I don't know, right? It's like, it's like I have that instinct because everyone does it to not want to do it. But mm. clean color palette, good tonage, you know. I, but it's like I'm not in the dark room like Willem, like tweaking stuff. Like I, these are like family photos that I send to the darkroom lab in San Clemente. We gotta, right. like, you gotta rep the home lab. And then I get back and I'm like, great. Um, but I've never but really why would you care else, what, so. why would it matter what everybody else shoots? Like at the right. end of the day, it's just well, like, so even when you post a photo, he's trying or even, to be cool. Even he's when trying I to see, be cool. So <laughs> even when I see photographers <laughs> work online that I admire, like it's never you like, care oh, this cool. is cool because it was Portra. Like that never. That's even a very my good mind. Point. I know, but I think you're a purist because I think you did it before everyone told you to shoot Portra. I feel like right now on the internet, on YouTube, on Instagram, it's like, it's like sh- saying that it's Portra does make it cooler in people's minds. I have never seen an example even though it should that, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I'm just living in my own little world. I don't know. I have maybe never thought, wow, this was head. cool because it was on Portra, like. Yeah. Right, no. but, that, but that's what I'm saying, because because you're in it, you're in it. This is like me, an outsider perspective, just like the everyday person shooting portrait because like the photographers they look up to shoot portrait, mm. and like that makes it cool to them. Mm. Interesting. All right, yeah. I have a hot take on all of this. Um, okay, here. I I just got a f- a few rolls back of portrait 160 and portrait 400. I haven't shot it. In a while, a couple months. And to be honest with you, I was pretty bored. Oh, I, th- I like it. I think I'm like it. moving on. Give me the drama. Um, okay. It just, 
I don't know. Maybe it's just where I'm at with my work. I'm you shot your first few rolls of Cine still a couple weeks ago, and now you're... I, I, oh, am, whoa. I am feeling like... <clears throat> I don't know if maybe that maybe shooting Cindy still did this, but I'm feeling a huge kind of transition from from what I used to make to what I want to make. And right. what I want to make is like a lot more graphic and a lot more punchy and um, maybe a little less realistic. So Portra mm. is not for that. Portra is mm-hmm. yeah, incredibly like, Portra realistic. is like realism. Yeah. yeah. It's so like true it's to warm. tone and it's warm and it's, yeah, and so I'm like I'm going way towards like cooler colors, blues, right. bright greens, reds. So right. I'm pretty bored with it, and I'm cool. I'm kind of glad to be moving on. I kind of relate wow. it to like shooting Canon. Like Canon colors were like the goat colors yes. for forever on shooting digital. Yeah, and then one day everyone just kind of stopped talking about Canon colors, mainly because a lot of other camera companies caught up like Fujifilm, amazing colors. Right. Sony got a lot better. And now it's kind of like Canon colors to me. It's like, yeah, they're, it's just, I'm so used to seeing them that I'd feel like the industry's ripe for disruption yeah. in the way of color. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I was going to ask you, Willem, what do you, sh- what is your digital camera or do you have one? Like, I feel like I, in my head you only shoot film. Yeah, I just got one, uh, like this week. Oh, Whoa, dude. first one? Like actually, first no digital I've, camera. I shot with a uh, Canon EOS R for for a while. Mm-hmm. Okay. I shot a lot of photos with that for a while, and I I liked it. Right here. Oh, it's cool because we you can't get, see you, Niles. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, sick. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I showed the camera. I haven't said online what I got yet, but it uh, it's a GFX. Wow. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, chunky boy. Go. That's probably the sickest yeah, digital baby. camera out there right now. Is it a GFX fifty? That's or the 100? title of this. Uh, the title of our episode is you Willem. Can't no, you that. can't do no. that. <laughs> you can't do that. Willem needs that title. Willem needs that title. <laughs> Wait, but we can put in what you said. I mean, this is 30 minutes into the episode. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah, sure. Go for it. Sick. Did you, you heard it here first. Wow. W- w- Willem's about to blow up a Digicam on the chan, and I'm excited. Yeah, he is. Blow that Digicam up. Well, I've, I've shot digital on there before. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, who knows? It'll be interesting mm-hmm. to see if people hate me. No, dude. I feel like no. I feel like it's just a part of the of the journey. I don't know. I feel like shooting. Definitely. Yeah, I feel like people You're allowed who to do whatever the hell you want. Will. Yes, yes. Yeah, no, Shoot totally. that GFX. Yeah. Totally, totally. I yeah. Amen. Um. Hey, Niles. I have one more question, but can you mute so there's not an echo? Yep. Hey, Niles. Can you shut the Sweet. fuck up? Um. <laughs> well, um. Uh. My my last question mm-hmm. is, how did you really get into photography, specifically film, or like what was your main inspiration? Because I followed your story or your stuff now for a little bit, but I feel like I don't ever remember knowing or learning mm-hmm. how you got into it. Like, was this right in high school? Or was this right out of high school? Like, who was your main inspiration? Yeah, in in high school, I actually was my first job. I got incredibly well, not randomly, but. My first job was I was a videographer for like a fashion media company. Hmm. And I got that job because I liked the videos that they were making. I was like, I want to try this. Then I made one of those videos and then they reached out and were like, do you want to make these for us? And this was when I was like 17 or 16 maybe. And so I got into video first and... I honestly just remember going into a camera shop and seeing a ton of film cameras in this one shop. And I was just like very curious. I'd only shot a disposable before and I just bought like a cheap range finder. This was back when like you could get a cheap range finder. It was like 50 Mm -hmm. bucks for a nice Olympus range finder. Whoa. And yeah, I mean, I got the first roll back and I was just like, this is wild. Wow. I think it was You literally just kind of took a just you just blindly and jumped in it, like in. you were cur- yeah yeah right. definitely and, went for cool. it. and then i went to school for two years didn't really like that i assisted a lot of people and that's really how Wait, i learned a lot when you say you went to school you went to art school right 
Yeah, for photography for two years. For photography. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, and I didn't really like love what I was doing in there, and at the same time, I was assisting people. Um, yeah, like on those fashion sets, those e-commerce sets. And I learned a lot that way. And I was like, okay, like I can learn more yeah, here. I'm also making money mm-hmm. and it's, I'm not paying mm-hmm. for school. So. Right. And this is in New York or New Jersey? This was in New York. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, then I just discovered that there was more to photography than like commercial work. Mm-hmm. Like I discovered, you know, Joel Merowitz, Vivian Mayer. And yeah, it went just snowballed from there it was over okay cool (laughs) oh sweet i just needed that yeah that little background is like i didn't know i just i thought you were all of a sudden lord willem and (laughs) i didn't know how you got there cut (laughs) cut cut (laughs) lord willem my dog cheers (laughs) cheers Oh, I thought Niles was trying shout to shout out. Shout out to this episode, probably being edited a little bit weirder because of all our yeah. breakups yeah. of Niles' connection. It's okay. I'm sure you could cut um, around them and not even notice, Caleb. Probably just more. Effort. Yeah. yeah. So, um, <laughs> Taylor, what are you enjoying right now? If it's not Portra. Yeah. Um, oddly enough, the Fuji Color 200 is like popping for me right now. I just shot it in Joshua Tree, and the the blues and the greens are just so delicious. Um, So I'm loving that. Um, I have a feeling Cine Still 400D is going to be my jam. Um, I'm I'm waiting on the roll in the mail. Yeah, Caleb. I just have one more roll. Do you like it, Caleb? Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. It. I was shocked. It was really sharp too. Yeah, it's sharp. It's it can punchy. film be sharper than other film, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I didn't really know that, and then I was like, "This actually looks it's so good. sharp and just so colorful." I guess just best I, Fuji film I've ever. I shot, think I'm I think, just like for me. I'm kind of the opposite of you, Willem. Like you spend so much time in post with your photos, and honestly, I admire it so much. I think maybe it's just because. I'm busy being a mom of a baby, but I don't want to spend a bunch of time in post. I want to get my scans back and have them be fine. Um, And so I'm finding that with Portra, I just have to spend time on them and I just don't want to. Um, So I've been loving Fuji Color. I'm excited for 400D. I haven't shot it yet, but I can't wait. Looks beautiful. Um, And then of course, Cindy still 50d i've been shooting since i loved 800 so much i've been shooting 50 more and i really 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 like it yeah i'm turning into a 400d looks really nice (laughs) (laughs) yeah it looks so beautiful so that's kind of where i'm at i also am like so i used to really only shoot T Max for black and white because I loved the like high contrast, high grain, like really grungy look. Um, yeah. But I just shot Cindy Steele's Double X for the first time. I shot quite a few rolls of it and I much prefer it over T Max. So now I'm shooting Cindy Steele black and white. So I'm going, wow. I'm going down that road Man. quick. Cindy Steele girl. girl. Yeah. Cindy Steele girl. Oof, it's happening. That's a sick, that's a sick IG handle. Cindy Steele girl. girl. Ta- Taylor's going to start blowing up film stocks on her Chan. Whoa. Just do it. We got another Chan blower upper. Chan blower upper. I hate that. <laughs> I absolutely hate that. <laughs> what is that? I love that Niles has like just it. been black this whole time. <laughs> It makes me yeah. like it so much more that you hate it. Yeah, of course. Of <laughs> course. Like, now it's just, I mean, that's, I'm going to double down, triple down. Classic. On Chan blower upper. Classic. This is my Kodak Portra Ilford mashup sweatshirt. If anyone cares, there it is. <laughs> we care, Taylor. You, we care. Where do you buy that at? It's like inter- Instagram. What's it called? Ty actually got it for me for Christmas. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> what's that? I'll look it up because I do want to give them a shout out, but I can't remember their name. Do you know Willem? Do you know what I'm talking no, about? No, I've, n- I've never seen it before. It's so funny mm-hmm. though. The exciting thing about new stocks being made, like to go back to your point much earlier, Willem, 
things like new stocks being made and a huge part of film continuing on and staying for a while um, and not disappearing anytime soon is people knowing how to repair our cameras because those are finite. And so I'm like starting to see more of that pop up, like people learning how to repair old film cameras. Like we need more of that um, because if all of our cameras die, we don't have anything to shoot uh, unless somebody makes a, a new film camera, which would be mm. amazing. Yeah, the, the cameras are becoming a problem. Uh huh. Like the big problem. Any medium format is just mm -hmm. wild right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's been with a, with a lot of things though. Like I'm also into cars, for example. Like the price of every used car has shot up in yep. the last like yep. two years, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But it it okay. seems to be a bit yeah. of everything. But yeah, I know it's it's true. It's fun. Like I feel like. I mean, it'd be fun to work on cameras, but it's just becomes such a skill set that people actually get like it's a craft. Well, yeah, and some you have to get just trained. Like, people like, that fix watches. Someone needs to and, teach yeah. you how to do it, and they need to know how to do it. And yeah, that's rare to find. That's why I, I saw Taylor. You posted you want to get an M6. I've always wanted that camera. It's like the dream. Yeah, an M6, but like also the M7 though. Probably is what I'm hearing. The amount okay. of DMs I got from that story, and everyone's yeah. like. Don't get yeah. an M6. Get an M7. I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Did I you know. post a story I... about getting an M6? I didn't see that. Yes. Yes. That's awesome. Do you have any Leica cameras, Willem? No, I've never owned a Leica. Just, I think, just price-wise. Yeah. It's yeah. insane. They're so oh, nice, though. I, I've used books. them. I've borrowed them. Yeah, um, all my money's in books, unfortunately. Right. It's wrapped up. Hey, well, hopefully it won't be as wrapped up now that it's out and you've sold ooh, some ooh. and uh, people should keep buying them. Let's sell you out, dude. <laughs> Off the sunny show. All right, Caleb. Should we do Niles' course winner? Let yes, exactly. Let's hit it. Uh, let me pull up. I have it all plugged in. Let me just do the screen recording. Uh, the brand who makes this is Shoot Film Co., by the way. Mm. I want to give them a, a little yes. shout out. Okay, here we go. We are fetching shout the out. comments. Fetching. Fetching. That word. Go. Just the, pr the, the proof right here. 136 comments right on. Thank you, guys. Good luck. This is, uh, we're giving away, oh, I think I said we're giving away three of them. So I think we'll let's do this. Pick a winner. First winner is, oh, right on. I've seen, I've seen him on our a comment on our videos before. Tyler Proventure. Woohoo! Woo! Right in the same. Yes. Get it. Daniel Hung. Ooh, ooh. Um, Daniel. I, we, we said we did ask Willem what were our child our childhood movies. So Daniel Hung said Home Alone, The Iron Giant, Jumanji, oh. and E. T. Oh, those are Whoa. great. And Tyler, who I just went back to his comment, he said Top Four: The Lion mm. King, Homeward Bound, yes. The Original Star Wars, and Free Willy. Wow. Yep. And we have one more winner. I hope I well, win. Let's get a female. <laughs> <laughs> the, I have. I can't tell. Uh, Kevy Dotexi. It's kind of a woo -woo. kind of an avatar -y look. Kevy Dotexi. Uh, I wasn't. Woo -woo -woo. Yeah, I wasn't a movie kid growing up. But here's my top four in order: Finding Nemo, yes. The Incredibles, Shark Tales, and Scott Shark Pilgrim vs. the World. Tales. Yes. I don't know Shark Tales. What? Hey, Show Willem, it to Barry. What are, uh, yeah. What are your uh, top four childhood movies? Childhood movies. The original Cars was huge for me. Yes. You are such a car boy, Willem. I am, yeah, but that I like. just... That I was wasn't in back then. Yeah. I don't Did know. Did that make I'm... you a car boy? No, I don't think so. Okay. Let me think. I don't it's know. It's hard. You got to... Well, Cars. Yeah, Cars is up there. Finding Nemo hit. <sighs> Finding Nemo hit hard. Did you ever watch Brink or any like Disney movies? No. Okay. You're a little too old for that. Young. Or young. We're too old. Willem's not too too old. That's for okay, sure. That's too, what, what, else, what else you got? <laughs> that's that's going to be it for me. Okay. <laughs> going to call it at those two. Call it at that, dude. Cars and Finding I love Nemo. it. Shout out Pixar. Shout out Pixar. I love um, it. 
Cool. Well, we can wrap this up. Niles got booted off his internet, a little bit haggard. Um, but thank you so much, Willem, for being our first Thanks, guest and rolling Willem. with our punches today. Thank you, guys. Yeah, huge congrats on your book launch. Thank, Thank you. you for giving us the, the, the film insights. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, comment below on this video to win Willem's, Willem's book. book next it's week. It's going to be good. Or, go buy, or just go buy it because the chances of you winning are low. So if you want to snag one before he runs out of copies completely. Support this boy. I suggest hitting it. Support him. Hopefully there's copies when this when this comes out. I actually am worried week, about a it. A week but... longer. Yeah. Hey, save one for the giveaway. Yeah, absolutely. I'll pay for it. I'll, I'll, no worries. Sonny will no, pay for it. No, 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 no. Make sure it's you all good. It. It's all good. <laughs> all right, y'all. Have a good one. Have a good one. See you soon. See you on the sunny, See sunny side of the street. Ooh. Peace. Keep on the sunny side. Always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side.